Hello everyone. Let us discuss another interesting case study in mathematics for class 10 students. It says mathematics teacher of a school took her 10th standard students to show Red Fort. So you can see here is a picture of Red Fort, which is in Delhi. It was a part of their educational trip. The teacher had interest in history as well. She narrated the facts of Red Fort to students. Then the teacher said, in this monument, one can find combination of solid figures. You see, now you can visualize the mathematical shapes, three-dimensional shapes. And uh, the teacher said, there are two pillars which are cylindrical in shape. So two pillars which are cylindrical in shape. So can you tell me where are those two pillars? Yes, you are right. Uh, we can have it. Uh, let me mark it. So you can see here different three dimensional shapes are given in this red four. So this is the first cylindrical pillar and this is the second one. Okay, what is the next thing? Also two domes at the corner which are hemispherical. Wow, so you see here I can see these are the two domes which are hemispherical in shape. You know this is a hemispherical shape. So two domes are there in this figure. After that it is given seven smaller domes at the center. So you can see here one, two, three, up to seven. Seven domes are there. These are also hemispherical in shape. After that, it is written, flag hoisting ceremony on Independence Day takes player, a place near these domes. Okay, fine. So we will be now answering to the questions which are based on this case study. So let us see what is the first question. The first question says, how much cloth material will be required to cover two big domes. Now, you see what is the shape of the dome? Shape of the dome is hemispherical shape. Each of the radius 2.5 meters. So we need to cover the dome. So what is the surface area of the dome? Yes, what is the formula? Yes, you are right. It is 2 pi r square. So here you can see that radius is given that is 2.5 meters, pi is also given, that is 22 by 7, and we can do the calculations. So let us see what will be the answer. So you need to do the calculations, 2 into, why we are multiplying it by 2? Because there are two big domes, 2 into, 2 into 22 by 7 into 2.5, into 2.5. So you have to make this calculation. And when you do this calculation, you can get the answer. And the answer will be in square meter. Yes, when we simplify this, we get this as 78.57. Okay, so here, the answer to this question is B part, that is 78.57. Okay, moving on to the next. Second question says, this is very simple. You have to just write the formula. So write the formula to find the volume of cylindrical pillar. You see, it is nothing to do with this shape over here. We just have to tell the formula. So you know, here the question is asked based on the situation which is given over here. So volume of cylindrical pillar, very simple. What is the volume of cylinder? 
that is pi r square h we can quickly see and save time because we need to just get the correct answer from the four choices which are given to us okay let us now move on to the third part find the lateral surface area of two pillars pillars meaning again you have to be very you know attentive while reading this you see here it is given that two pillars which are cylindrical in shape so you you have to be using the formula of uh, lateral surface area of a cylinder and it is given that height of the pillar is 7 meters and uh, the base is uh, uh, the radius of the base is 1.4 meter so tell me first what is the formula for lateral surface area of a right circular cylinder yes it is 2 pi r h so we will we will have to do the calculation we have to calculate lateral surface area of two pillars so that means 2 into 2 into pi is 22 by 7 into r what is r r is uh, it is 1.4 into what is h that is 7 so you have to just uh, do the this calculation and when you simplify this you get the answer now you tell me what is the answer 2 into 2 into 22 by 7 into 1.4 into 7 7 and 7 gets cancelled so you need to multiply 88 by 1.4 yes so i am getting the answer as uh, this answer is 123.2 okay so b part is there 123.2 square meter okay let us do the fourth part how much is the volume of a hemisphere if the radius of the base is 3.5 meter nothing to do with the case study direct question we need to know what is the formula of volume of a hemisphere yes tell me what is the volume of a hemisphere yes 2 by 3 pi r cube very nice so we need to do the calculations 2 by 3 into pi pi is 22 by 7 into r cube r is 3.5 so 3.5 into 3.5 into 3.5 so you have to be very good in uh, doing the calculations that is all it is required and you need to know the formula so 2 by 3 pi r cube when you simplify we get the answer as uh, 89.83 so here we can get the answer this is the d part quickly do the last one what is the ratio of sum of volumes ratio first we need to see we have to find ratio second is sum of volumes of two hemispheres of radius one centimeter so first we will be very very alert in reading the statement here it is saying two hemispheres so we would be using the formula of volume of a hemisphere that is 2 by 3 pi r cube but there are two hemispheres so you need to do 2 into 2 by 3 into 2 this is 2 by 3 pi r cube so 2 into 2 by 3 into 22 by 7 into r r is 1 so 1 into 1 into 1 okay and this needs to be divided by the volume of sphere this has to be divided by volume of sphere of radius 2 centimeter what is the volume of sphere volume of sphere is 4 by 3 into pi that is 22 by 7 into r cube and r is given to be 2 so 2 into 2 into 2 i think you can do this calculation now and when you simplify you get the answer as 1 is to 8. I hope uh, this case study is clear to all of you. 
So I am just uh, going to uh, point out two important things in this. Number one, you have to first read the statement very, very carefully with respect to the image or the diagram or the information which is provided to you. Number two, you should remember all the formulas for calculating total surface area or lateral surface area or volume of the different shapes, three-dimensional shapes, which you have studied in grade 9 and 10. I hope uh, you have understood this case study. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.